since we can't do reviews for a while due to the coronavirus pandemic, I thought I'd give you a little tour of the bar. The first stop on this tour is the wonderful metal signage on the front from Camden Market many moons ago. Thought, fuck it, why not put it on the bar? Been there ever since. This uh, cool looking bottle is all the way from Scotland. Scotch whiskey. I thought it's a good little, uh, good little flask. Stick the uh, booze in once that's finished. On the top, we got the tiny rebel bar runner and glasses. Trying to support our local brewery any way we can. Brilliant place. Love it. Take you around the back. See you in a minute. The bar itself is from B&Q about five years ago. I really wanted it. Badly. It's meant to go outside, but we thought the rain would ruin it, so it's uh, a permanent piece of the furniture in, in the household. The wife got me it, and I'll be forever grateful. So, this is the the back side of the bar. This is where we keep all our spirits for our, our beard bro parties with our friends, family, and whoever else wants to come over and drink with us. As you can see, the top level is the whiskey level. This is empty, but hey ho, we got our little miniatures that usually come in a Christmas gift set of some sort. The Gentleman Jack, your Tennessee Honey, and your standard Jack Daniels, and then you got the Jim Beam in the background, just chilling. Here's some BB rewards that are ready to be given out at some point. It's a Metallica cup. When I went to go see Metallica, they made you buy the cup and then refill it, which is a good idea, I guess. Because one, you get to keep it, and two, less waste. And less waste is always a good thing. The little gift set for Christmas. And here's another one, just to go with it. On the bottom level, we have. I used to call it the wife corner, but I'm a bit partial to the old gin these days. So we've got the Beef Eater Pink, Bosford Rose, A, your standard Gordon's Pink, Sicilian Lemon, the White Peach, which is almost gone, and the Copperberg Passion Fruit and Orange. Here's the vodkas. So you've got standard Smirnoff. Absolute Mango, which is one of my favourites. Ciroc Red Berry, which is fantastic. Pineapple Ciroc, which is also fantastic. You know, you always gotta have the, the cheap Russian standard somewhere along the line, just in case you run out with the good stuff. A nice big bottle of the Absolute. Here's some random Cactus Jacks, which is like a a sour snap, pretty much a cheap version of sours, but they're good, they'll do. Mango and cherry. And up here is one of my prized possessions. The world's smallest whiskey. Guinness Book of Records, apparently. Directly from Scotland itself. And that's about it, really, other than the uh, the bottle opener that doesn't seem to work, Coca-Cola. Well, hope you enjoyed our tour. It's a load of shit, really, but I'm bored. Have a good one. Stay safe.